be taking a look at the picture. I already saw one hand go up when you think you know. Go ahead and raise those hands high. She heard soft noises and loud noises. If you agree with her, raise your hand up high. Good. We're almost all agreeing that we heard both loud and soft sounds. Excellent work. Now, that song is called the Surprise Symphony. Can anyone tell me why they think it might be called a Surprise Symphony? Think. What was surprising? What was surprising? The big loud sound. The big loud sound right in the middle when it started out. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we have this crazy loud sound. Now, this song is written by this guy right here, and his name is Haydn. Like, I'm Haydn from my brother or sister. Can you say Haydn? Haydn. Haydn wrote this song, The Surprise Symphony. His boss was a king and a queen at a castle. That's where he worked. Now, this particular king hired Haydn to compose music. What does it mean to compose music? Angelina? To play music? Not to play. Think about what compose music might be. What do you think? If you're a composer, what's your job? Exactly. Make the king like the songs that he wrote. If you're a composer, you write music. That's your only job. Every day you wake up, and you get to write music. That sounds like a pretty cool job, doesn't it? And a tiring one. You think a tiring one? I bet you it is very tiring. It was even more tiring for Haydn because he would spend all of this time writing these songs for the king. And he just spent so much time and energy. And guess what the king would do through his concerts? He would sleep through his concerts. If you spent hours and hours and days and weeks writing music, and the person you wrote it for fell asleep, would you be happy? No. no. I know, I would be mad. Angelina says she would quit. I have to agree with her, right? So guess what he did? Quit. No, he didn't quit. He wrote the Surprise Symphony. And it starts out what? Loud or soft? Soft. It starts out nice and soft, so he did it on purpose. He was trying to trick the king. He made it nice and soft so that he would fall asleep. Exactly. So here was the king snoring and snoring, and then all of a sudden he woke up from this big loud sound from the orchestra. That's a pretty fun story, isn't it? Did he fall back asleep? Maybe. We'll never know. This was hundreds of years ago. Now, that is why it's called the Surprise Symphony. Excellent. Now we're going to do a little activity where we act out our Surprise Symphony with a different story. No. We're going to change our story all together. Something that suits us a little bit more. So, with quiet raised hands, can anyone tell me if you ever woke up in the middle of the night just starving for some ice cream or a piece of cake? Miss Gallagher does, like, pretty much every night. Now, if you woke up at midnight and everybody is asleep in the house and you don't want anyone to find out that you snuck down for a snack, would you stomp your feet down the stairs or would you tiptoe? Tiptoe. Tiptoe. When we tiptoe, are we being loud or soft? Soft. Soft. So what we're going to do 
do is pretend that we're heading downstairs to get some delicious treat, whatever your favorite is. And we're going to be tiptoeing and looking because if we're not on the lookout, someone's going to catch us, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then something's going to happen when we get loud. We'll talk about it once we get there. What I'd like for you to do right now is make a circle around the rug. So just step right in front of your chair and come into the center. Good. You should not be on the rug, but on the outside of it. Before my treat, I thought of something. That's okay. All right. So we're going to be tiptoeing and looking and be listening to the music so that you're tiptoeing to the beat. I will help you as well. Here we go.
mini book should be normally pretty piano, right? But it's Unless maybe they're screaming and they're reading the book at the same time, but typically we're going to be we're going to be piano. Dang, come on up.